been a while since I've told one of my anecdotes, so let's open up that window, huh? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Angel, and today I'm going to be telling you a little story. So, this is going to be a story of one of the many times I was in the hospital last year, and this was like, I think the last time I was in the hospital, and a homeless man who had just gotten off an ambulance to get into the hospital came up to me, wanted to exchange some words, so I'm going to tell you about that. Actually, those crutches in the background right there are from when I went to the hospital that time. I was really sick last year. It started end of June 2016. I was sick for six months, and so I was in and out of the hospital a lot. This was, like, I was still sick from that, like, recovering, but I don't know if this had anything to do with my condition or I'm just an idiot but I was taking a shower this one day and when I take showers I like to have them scolding hot and I like to sing very very loud and I like to do songs like power ballads and stuff and it's very hard for me to breathe up in there so just painting you a real good pick of what the shower was like. I just got done washing out the conditioner from my hair and I started to feel dizzy and I was gonna get out anyway so I turned off the water I was standing there for a second. This was my mistake. You're not supposed to, <laughs> when you feel dizzy, you're not supposed to stand and like try to catch your balance. You should lay down. Like my doctor in the hospital said, the best thing to do is to lay down, make sure your head's not above your body, so don't sit down, lay down is what he said. But I'm an idiot, so I was standing there, arm on a weird angle, like one arm on this side of the shower and one holding on to the freaking, you know, the thing that holds the shower curtain up, the rod, and our rod isn't like drilled in it just sits there on these two nubs and it's really easy to knock down so it was really stupid i was holding on to that arm over here and i was like <sighs> and then my eyes closed i couldn't i just couldn't and then next thing i know i'm on the ground my head's next to the toilet my head didn't hurt my head didn't hit anything but this plastic it was like a hefty plastic crate that was holding all the shampoos and stuff for the shower. My leg had landed on it and it broke. Like my leg broke it and so I could not get up because I hurt my leg so bad. Like it still hurts to this very day. This whole bone from here to here hurts very bad and this happened in December I think. So I couldn't get up I start crying of course because it hurts like a witch the rod we keep our towels on the rod it fell down and so that means the towels fell down so I dried myself off somehow and I always bring my robe in the bathroom with me so I quickly put on my robe while I was still on the floor my mom came in she had to help me into my room so I could get some clothes on and then we had to go to urgent care in the city that I live in town actually it's not big enough to be even considered a city so we go to the urgent care they don't want to deal with it because it's like almost closing time for them and the urgent care here I'm pretty sure all urgent cares suck eggs they just don't want to deal with anything especially when it's gonna be <laughs> time to close so they wanted to send me to the hospital which was really ridiculous but what else was I gonna do because these people are stupid and don't want to deal with me Whenever I'd go to that urgent care too, they'd always send me the to the hospital and we don't go to the one that's close to here, it's in Bremerton. That one sucks ASS, so we have to drive all the way to Tacoma. That's the one that I usually go to. So we go back home, what did we grab? We grabbed like a jacket or something because I didn't have a jacket on and my mom had to get food for my brother and sister. The wind. We get back on the road, we drive all the way to Tacoma, Mary Bird, just the one that I'd go to. So we go there, They, the urgent care had already called, so they're like, okay, so we sat there for a little bit. Then they took me in that little room where they check you real quick, 
and then you sit back out in the waiting room and then they call you again and then you go to your uh i was gonna say hotel room your hospital room so i went to my hospital room and it's not these ones that you go to when you're there for a short period of time aren't like real hospital rooms uh, the ones when you're admitted into the hospital is when you get your own like private I mean those ones were private it's just these the ones when you're admitted they're a lot nicer the beds are way better and it's just yeah you have your own bathroom in them <laughs> but uh, this one was just like a little couple hour one Ugh, it took so freaking long for the doctor to come in because you know the nurse checks you first and does all that crap and then the doctor finally comes in and diagnoses you and then the nurse has to do the rest like actually care for you so I did an x-ray of my leg and nothing was broke or fractured I just had a bruised bone so this whole entire part I can't show you but this whole lower half below my knee was bruised from the ankle up it hurt to touch it like it still kind of hurts but it hurt to like walk on it so they gave me a walking boot which is over there by the crutches uh, but like stepping down still hurts so I got crutches too because I'm a brat I didn't use the crutches I barely used the walking boot because that put pressure against my leg even more so I didn't see a point in that the nurse that I had I had had her before when I was in the hospital for a different thing for my condition that I had and uh, she had to do something really embarrassing to me, and so when I had to see her again, I was like, okay, great. And by embarrassing, I mean she gave me an enema, and it was <laughs> really embarrassing. So seeing her again, and she knew it was me, like, we had this look, we gave each other, and we were like, yep, you stuck something up my butt, so... <laughs> That was really fun. So we're walking out, we're leaving. My mom goes to the parking garage to pull up the car so I don't have to walk all the way back over there. An ambulance pulls up and I didn't really like look at it, like notice it that much. Like I knew the ambulance pulled up, I just didn't really pay attention. And so I was looking towards the street, waiting for my mom. And then I get a tap on the shoulder and I turn around and it's this like, homeless I don't know if he was homeless but he looked kind of lower that sounds really horrible um he just looked kind of dirty you know and he had this backpack on and he just had this crazy weird look <laughs> and so he taps on me and he's like hey you okay like and I'm standing there with my crutches and my walking boot, and I'm like, Sir? I'm not saying anything. I'm like, What? So he's like, Are you okay? The paramedic from the ambulance is like, He says, What is the dude's name? The paramedic said the dude's name, and he's like, We gotta check you in, dude. And I was like, This mother trucker just came off of the ambulance? This is the dude that came off the ambulance that just parked, just pulled up, and he's trying to talk to me. Like, am I okay? Are you okay? You just got off of an ambulance, sir. It was probably, like, I'm not trying to be rude, but I think it was, like, a drug overdose or something because he seemed to be acting real strange. Either that or, like, he could have gotten hurt or something, and he's just mentally ill. I don't know but he was scaring the frick out of me. He was still talking to me. And then they're like, come on, dude, we really gotta check you into the hospital. And then he's like, I'm talking to this girl. I was like, no, no, no. And he had to be in his 40s, mid 40s, early 50s. He was scaring me though. And then right as he was about to say something else, my mom pulled up and he was like, okay, gotta go, add me on Facebook. And he kept saying his name. And when I got home, I looked up his Facebook. He's a teacher at a university in Tacoma. Like, okay, sir. I know you see like a crippled girl on the sidewalk just standing there by yourself in the rain but that doesn't mean once you 
get right off of the ambulance, you come to me to ask if I'm all right. That's sweet, but what's wrong with you? So of course, right when I get home, I have to tell everyone, I have to tell all my family, and then I text a couple of my friends what happened, screenshot the dude's Facebook, send the pics on to them. I don't know, that was just kind of weird. That's not the only weird experience I've had at the hospital, and I've had many because I've been to the hospital so many times. Just in the last year, maybe I'll tell what happened to me one day, but like right now, it's just a really long story. It doesn't really affect me anymore. Like. I've lost a lot of my vision from what happened to me. I could have gone blind. I didn't, thank God. They caught it right, <laughs> they caught it in the nick of time because if it had of, if I had gone on any longer without the right type of medication, I would have lost my eyesight. I wasn't aware of this. They didn't tell me that. I just thought I was losing my eyesight because I was having so many headaches. So that's like permanent damage. But other than that, nothing's really wrong with me now I don't know whatever started it I'm not taking that anymore it was just a really tough time honestly it was the worst thing that's ever but yeah it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me it's not something that's easy to talk not that it like makes me upset but it's just such a long story and there's so many things that have happened during that length of time because of what happened to me like, I lost a lot, uh, people didn't want to be friends with me anymore, because who wants to be friends with a sick person? I don't know. It was just not a fun time for me. Maybe I'll tell that story one day. I'd like to tell that story when I have my medical history, so that people don't think I'm lying, and so that people understand, like, the intensity of what was going on, because... I don't think anyone really understands other than my family and my really close friends. Yeah, maybe one day, maybe in a few months, maybe in a year, maybe in a few years, maybe when I'm like 30, I don't know. Just not something I want to talk about right now because I'm still recovering mentally from what happened. I know I've been okay for a couple months now. It's just a lot to take in, you know, still taking it in to this day. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I didn't enjoy it when it happened. It freaked me out so much. I don't like when random people come up to me and talk to me. It just scares me. No matter what you look like, I just get nervous. But I'm not going to be impolite. I'll be nice. Uh, <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next next what is wrong with me i swear i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys lola's over there laying down uh she her ears are up and big and she's like what's this witch talking about i don't know uh i hope you guys have a really good week i think i'm probably gonna post this on monday Maybe Wednesday, I don't know. Those are the days I tend to post, but I love you guys. I'll see you later. Peace out.